Friday evening, strong wind gusts in Porter Ranch have residents on edge. It's just very concerning, you know, with all the fires that are happening and the people that live around it, it just worries me. This Saddle Ridge fire scorched nearly 8,800 acres and damaged or destroyed more than 100 structures. Firefighters say so far it's 72 percent contained. Thursday night's winds that toppled a few trees, one landing on a house, another damaging a vehicle, also tested the firefighters' containment lines. So we had uh, gusty winds yesterday evening and uh, we're planning on having winds throughout the weekend. Uh, last night was the first test, uh, first wind test of our containment lines and uh, it was great. Uh, lines held. Cal Fire is checking areas that have already burned to make sure the fire doesn't spread. Investigators say the cause of the Saddle Ridge fire is not yet known. However, it started beneath a high voltage transmission tower in Silmar. Flames fueled by Santa Ana winds. It's scary because you don't know um, how high the winds are going to um, pick up. Um, like we saw this last week um, from Silmar, how the fire was spreading so fast that it was going into landing on cars and houses. SoCal Edison says it may shut off power to customers in high-risk areas as a precaution. That could include more than 4,000 customers in L.A. County, more than 2,000 customers in Orange County, nearly 900 in Riverside County, and just over 400 in Ventura County. In the Angeles National Forest and San Gabriel Mountains National Monument, the fire danger level has has been raised from very high to extreme. That means all types of fires can start quickly and burn intensely. And for people visiting those areas like the Angeles National Forest, you will have restrictions placed on you. No campfires or stove fires uh, in those areas at this time as a precaution. Back live here in Porter Ranch, you can just see how windy it is. We have experienced some pretty strong wind gusts so far this evening. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.